Iran, 12 dead and hundreds of arrests in anti-government protests. In the events of last night, unfortunately, a total of 10 people were killed in many cities. With a terse announcement, the Iranian state television commented on the worsening of clashes between demonstrators and police forces in Iran in what are the most heated and widespread demonstrations since 2009. When the Iranians took to the streets to protest against the election of President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. The balance of the clashes has thus risen to 12 dead and numerous wounded. Last Thursday in Mashhad city as protests against the dear life and corruption, the demonstrations spread like wildfire in many cities and immediately assumed a political connotation against the government, President Hassan Rouhani and even the powerful guide spiritual of the Islamic Republic, the ultra-conservative Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Rouhani calls for calm. Unlike Hamidinjad who immediately reacted with an iron fist against the popular protests of 2009, President Rouhani, known as a moderate clerical and re-founder, recognized on television the right to demonstrate but avoided violence. The Iranian people are free to demonstrate, as long as the protests are authorized and legal and that they do not turn into violence. One thing is criticism. He underlined, another violence and destruction of public property. Rouhani, however, admitted that the people are not only worried about economic reasons, but also for corruption and transparency. However, meeting a group of parliamentarians, the president made an appeal to the unity between government, parliament justice and army to protect national interests against a small group that shouts illegal slogans, insults religion and values of the Islamic revolution. Now, he said, we must focus on the importance of the system, of the revolution, of national interests, of the security and stability of the region. The response of the security forces is becoming harder and harder. Over 300 people have been arrested in several cities. 200 in the capital Tehran, where the police are using tear gas and water cannons to disperse the protesters, and 100 in Erik, where the governor of the central province, Ali Agazadeh, announced that 12 police officers were injured in the attacks the governorate office of the same city. Trump attacks the regime again. The imperative for the Iranian regime is now to contain protests and ensure that they do not get to a point where they can no longer be controlled. In order to avoid street rallies, the authorities have blocked, even if only temporarily, access to social networks, in particular Telegram and Instagram. After the harsh condemnation on Saturday, American President Donald Trump has remade himself to hear via Twitter. Iran, the world's largest terrorist sponsor that is now committing numerous human rights violations, has now closed the Internet so that peaceful demonstrators cannot communicate. It's not a good thing.